Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would put together a seven days of outfits video. I used to do outfits of the week videos religiously on my channel. If you scroll down, you will find so many of them. I wanted to remake some of those with a little twist to my content style now. So I'm going to be putting together seven different outfits for each day of the week. I would have done an outfits of the week video, but where I am, we're still in lockdown and it just wouldn't be realistic because I am literally in sweatpants every single day. So I wanted to put together outfits to show you guys what I would be wearing if I was going out or just outfits that I'm currently loving. Before we get into the outfits, I just want to thank Vitaly for working with me on this video. Vitaly is a jewelry company based in Toronto, which is so cool because they're local to me and I also love sharing Canadian-based brands with you guys. They are a unisex jewelry brand, which is so cool. So I actually picked up a few pieces for Jay. So you, your boyfriend or your friends can all shop from one place. The best part is all of their pieces come in gold and silver. I'm very much a gold lover, but if you guys are ride or die for silver and want to pick up the same piece that I got, they got you covered. I believe some of their pieces even come in more colors than that, which is awesome. So there's so much variety. They were also kind enough to give you guys a $25 gift code. Just click the link in my description box to head to their website and sign up to receive the code right away. So the first piece that I have to show you guys is this sick necklace. I know I'm going to absolutely butcher all of these names, but they will all be linked down below. The Akoya necklace, but what's really cool about this is it's half pearls, half gold or silver if you like that option. So many different ways to wear this. You can have this part in the front, which is the clip, but honestly, it's kind of a vibe. You can like turn it sideways and do half and half. You can have just the pearl. It's super versatile. And then to go with that, I got the Keshi bracelet, which is a ma matching piece with the necklace, as you guys can see. I don't remember the exact sizes that I got for everything, but all the information will be in the description box. This one fits me perfectly. If you're not sure what size you are, they have a sizing feature on their website, which is what I did. I think you just print out a piece of paper and then measure your wrist, your finger, whatever, and it fits me perfectly. So it does work. And this as well has the same clasp right here. They're super easy to get on and off. I just love the contrast of the pearl in gold. I think it's so cute. Now let's get in to the rings. I have a bunch to show you guys. So the first one right here is called Beam, a bedazzled smiley signet ring. It is so cute i'm obsessed with it it just adds such a fun pop compared to the rest of the gold you can see it really stands out next up i got a ring duo which are the i'm sorry to flip you guys off but they're on my two middle fingers here they came in a pack of two of just slim rings they are different though this one has a like square featured to it where this one is rounded i'm sure you guys can probably see the difference but I have so many thick, chunky rings. Those are definitely my favorite and I pick them up the most, but I just needed some more dainty ones. So these are just perfect and I love that they're different too. This is called Solar and it is just a kind of regular size signet ring. I've been wanting one like this for a while and I just love how simple it is. I'm such a sucker for this, like, I guess that's the signet feature, but I just think it's so cool. I have a pinky ring like this that I wear all the time and I've been wanting one for my pointer fingers, so. I'm covered. It's just the perfect size too. Going along with that, I got the Ray, which is a larger signet ring. So it's very similar shape and style to this one, but just bigger. I got them both in the same size because I couldn't pick and they just give a different vibe. So depending on how I'm feeling that day, I got a bunch of options. We got another signet ring. This one is a pinky. I have a pinky ring with a little embroidering on it. So I was so excited when I saw just a simple one because it matches with the rest of my jewelry. This one is called the Idol and it is so cute. I'm just obsessed with the combo of all of these. They look so good together. I have another necklace. This one is called the Miami chain. It's just a very dainty, elegant chain. I don't have a lot of just basic chains like this. A lot of mine are super thick or they have like a pendant on it or whatever. So I thought this was adorable and it's going to be perfect for stacking. I feel like this with just a bikini is such a vibe. So you can never go wrong with one of these. Lastly, I got the transit 
chain which is a super thick fun gold chain this i actually got for jay as i was saying their jewelry is unisex so i wanted to get a few things for jay because he's been wanting a chain for a while i love that they have so much variety as you can see all of these chains are different so there really is something for everybody if you guys want to shop any of these pieces they will all be linked down in the description box and also don't forget to head over to their website and sign up for the 25 dollar gift voucher that is such a good deal and that way you get $25 towards whatever piece you choose so that we can twin. But now let's just get into the outfits. So for Monday's outfit, we're starting off with just a basic t-shirt and some jean shorts. This is the most realistic outfit for me. This is what I usually end up wearing most of the time just because it's really easy, comfortable, and cute. If you pick up really fun pieces, you can make it super trendy. So we're just starting off with these long line light wash jean shorts from Garage. They're such a classic. You can never go wrong with a pair of shorts like this. I'm not really a fan of booty shorts personally, so these are always what I reach for when I'm grabbing shorts. These I actually just rolled once because they are pretty long on me. I do want to cut them, but I'm just going to save that for another day when I have the confidence to do it. To go with that, I got the iconic Realization Part Hercules T for shoes. I am just such a sneaker girl. You guys know me by now. That's pretty much all I wear. So I think I'm going to go with... Let me just look at what these look like. My Air Force mids. These are my favorite white sneaker ever. Pretty much never wear my original Air Forces anymore just because these are so much more fun and not a lot of people have them. So I really like that. And I'm kind of living out my Jordan dreams with these because they're a mid, like all of the really expensive ones, even though these were like, $70 in the kids section. I'm obsessed with the way that mid and high sneakers look when you're wearing shorts. I don't know what it is. I just think it's really cute. And then to go with that, I'm just going to throw on a tote bag just to really dress down the outfit and keep it really casual. This is something I would wear over to my boyfriend's house after I'm done filming and whatnot, just to be super cute and comfortable, you know, have all my laptop my hard drive and everything in here is just really practical and realistic i just want to keep the bag really light to match with the shirt and the shoes my hair is in a clip because i never do my hair i'm too lazy for sunglasses i just have these really sick kind of rectangular framed sunglasses from montague i do have a code for these they'll be in the description box but they are so sick they're so vintage and fun and I love how the yellow pulls through with the yellow in the shirt. It just works and going along with keeping the outfit really light with the bag and the shoes. Yellow is a very light color and it's very faded. You can still see my eyes through it. So it's a perfect way to match everything. But if you don't want to have these on, you can just take them off and put it on your shirt like this and then it matches even more. It looks so cute. Happy Tuesday. Today is actually Tuesday and I kind of want to wear this today. I actually wore this skirt yesterday. That's what inspired me to put this on for today's outfit. I'm actually going roller skating later today. So I feel like I might wear this because the skirt is just such a roller skating vibe. So I actually wasn't sure how much I was going to wear this skirt because I got it kind of recently and I haven't really been seeing them too much this summer. But just because people aren't wearing things doesn't mean that you can't wear them. It's subjective. You can wear whatever the fuck you want. I've been loving them and I will be wearing them this summer. This one is actually from Garage. They also have shorts underneath, which is so convenient. So, you know, if I'm roller skating and there's wind, you don't have to worry about anything showing. For the top, I just threw on this super fun and bright biker muscle tank that I have from Princess Polly. Because the skirt is pretty girly, I wanted to make it a little bit more edgy and masculine, and I feel like this tee is a perfect way to do that. It's still really girly because it's pink and it adds a pop, but all of the graphics on it are biker inspired. I have my hair in a half up, half down. And then for the sneakers, I just wanted to keep it really light as well to go with the white skirt. So I just have on my 
platform af1s this would look so cute to put the platform white converse i unfortunately don't have them this is the closest sneaker i have to platform because they're platform af1s but i think the high top converse would look so cute i think i would just throw on this white button up this as well is from garage i love the matching white but they're different textures and styles, so it makes it so fun. But you could also switch this out for just a white hoodie, zip up hoodie. I feel like that would be really cute too. And I just love like the cute pop of white, of pink. It's just a little bit more subtle when you have this on and it just makes you feel more covered up, you know? And then for bags, I would just throw on my Princess Polly beige nylon bag. This is my summer bag because it's such a beautiful light color and it honestly just goes with everything. And it kind of like matches with the colors in here you guys get what i mean okay wednesday please ignore my black bra through my white shirt i'm too lazy to change it it's not a big deal i wouldn't wear it out like this and also i know these pants are so big on me i have not had the chance to get them hemmed because we've been in lockdown for months now so hopefully soon i can just get these pants fucking hemmed so i can wear them out because i look ridiculous right now but just imagine that they're the perfect length okay it's hump day <laughs> going along with that i have some camel colored pants i thought it was just fitting these pants are such an easy way to look like you have your shit together but you're pretty much wearing sweatpants because they're just as comfortable they have this really nice white striping down them so they're pretty much just like those paper bag work trousers that are super popular in everyday fashion and i think the light color is such a fun way to bring them into the spring and summer and also these are so light they're the perfect pant to wear in the warmer months because it honestly just feels like you're wearing nothing they're so flowy maybe if i roll this you guys We'll get a better idea. I would just pair this with a basic tank top. This one is from Aritzia. It's a little bit of a looser fit, which I like, just going along with the whole baggy look. You can never go wrong with just a basic top like this. I wear tops like this almost every single day because you can pair them with any pant and they look so good. For shoes, I just have on my New Balance 530s. I absolutely love the look of running shoes and dress pants that has been trending all over pinterest and i'm really here for it it looks so cute i just love the juxtaposition of sporty and dressy casual circling back to my spring fashion trends video i posted a few days ago trucker hats are everything right now so i want to wear one with this outfit i have two options the first one is this one from tna aritzia it's just a basic white Katie's trying to get in. Come in. Good girl. Come here. And of course here. If you want a more toned down outfit, I would totally go with this one. I'll put both of, them, both of them on so you guys can see. So here's what the white one looks like. Obviously super wearable and more neutral because everything matches. Or if you want to go a little bit more in your face, you could wear this green trucker hat. You really want out? I just let you in. So the green is an option if you want to be a little bit more bold. I think I would wear it like this just because I'm trying to be more expressive in my outfits, if that makes sense. I just need to wear more color and accessories are the perfect way to do that. I know sometimes it can be kind of scary to wear like a bright green top or pant, but if you do it through a hat or purse, it's a lot less intimidating. Happy Thursday. So as you guys are noticing, I'm wearing the same top that I wore on Monday. And that is honestly very realistic for a week of my outfits. I'm always re-wearing pieces from a few days ago because to be honest, I'm always switching my outfits because there's truly nothing else to do. I'll wear something for a few hours, get bored, and then switch my outfit. <laughs> and I've also been waiting for this top specifically to wear it with this skirt. So I thought this was a cute way to pair it together. I saw my friend on Instagram, Fernanda, style it like this, and she literally made me buy the shirt because of it. I just love the way that it looks with this little mini black skirt. This is from Princess Polly. This skirt is so <laughs> mini, as you guys can see. I would recommend sizing up in it. I'm wearing it too. I love it, but I honestly don't know if I would be comfortable wearing it out because I feel like it's just gonna ride up 
when I walk. Updates to come, but I still want to keep it pretty casual. So I'm gonna pair it with these chunky loafers from ASOS. And then for a bag, I'm thinking, haven't tried this on, but I feel like it's gonna be really cute of this little crochet bag. So if you guys remember from a few videos back, my summer trends video, I talked about how I ordered one online on Etsy and she arrived yesterday. Look how cute she is. It's just a little mini shoulder bag. In the past, I would have thrown on that bag, but I have this really fun and funky piece that I wanna get some wear out of. So this is definitely more of my style these days. The sunglasses, I would definitely have some on because I'm not wearing a hat or anything. And I'm thinking these yellow ones from Montague as well, just to tie in with the yellow bag, the yellow in here, and keep it really fun and playful. Happy Friday. It's jean Friday. Is that a thing for anyone else? I always try to wear jeans on Friday just because it's fun and it helps me wear jeans more. Because if I'm not in jeans, I'm in sweatpants and I'm trying to wear my clothes more. I just have on these white crisscross jeans from Princess Polly. I've been dying to wear these and white denim is such a look for spring and summer. Kind of risky, but I honestly don't really have too much trouble when I wear white. To go with that, I just want to keep it really casual with just a basic black cropped t-shirt. This is from Aritzia. And I rolled my denim because I was thinking of going for an Emma Chamberlain look and wearing these loafers with it. I feel like it would definitely look a lot better with, I think they're called like the 1864 or something like that. The Doc Martin loafers would definitely look a lot better, but these kind of give the same look. I just love the way that these loafers look with socks and I'm trying to play around with styling them a little bit more and this is such a cute way to style it and I would totally wear it like this. I'm trying to reach for them more than my sneakers because I've styled this outfit I think a different way with some sneakers. So I want to show you guys a different option. I don't think I'm gonna put any hats on or anything. And then for sunglasses, pulling out my Vela sunglasses. I got these yesterday. I have been staring at them for so long. I finally just decided to get them. <gasps> Look how cute they are. So I've honestly been searching for a cheaper alternative for these for months now, but I just could not find any that were in the same shape and style and color. Nothing just compared to these. So I decided to pick them up. I've never had a expensive pair of sunglasses like Ray-Bans or anything. So I decided that it was time, you know, I'm 22, I have a car. It's time, okay? And these are just timeless. Like I will be saving these for my my future daughter. You know what I mean? Because these sunglasses are tortoise shell, it works. I don't know if you guys can see from afar. They are tortoise shell. So there is black in the rim. So it pulls through with the black top and the black shoes and it looks really cute. For a bag, I'm not too sure how this one looks. Let me just look in the mirror. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. For a bag, let's go with this black nylon from Garage. I think it's cute. And then if you're not feeling the sunglasses, you can do this. And I honestly just love this sunglass feature. I think it's really cute. Happy Saturday. I took my socks off because I'm about to put some heels on. I just need to decide which ones that I want to wear. Oh my God. So many things going on right now. Come on. Want on my bed? Look at Bailey. I decided for Saturday I want to do a like going out outfit because I know a lot of you guys are able to do that now. So I want to give you some inspo for summer. So I actually really love wearing black in the summer. I know a lot of people don't like it. They like to wear color, but I think it's really pretty as a going out color, like a little black dress or skirt like this. I am wearing the same one from Princess Polly. I was gonna throw on a leather one. It just looked weird because I'm about to put a leather coat on. I just love how mini this is and it's linen. So it's the perfect little mini skirt for summer. To brighten it up a little bit, I just have on this white ribbed halter top from Garage. It is so cute. Look at the back, it's gonna completely open. I need to figure out these strings though. They keep popping up. For shoes, as this is a going out outfit, I grabbed these flip flop heels from Princess Polly. I also am going to throw a coat over this. I just grabbed this black leather coat. This is actually my grandma's. 
I think she gave it to my mom, but honestly, I'm probably going to take it because it's such a vibe. Are you kidding? This looks like something I would dream about finding at the thrift store. It's Den Denier, so it's real leather, super cute, and it totally dresses up the outfit and makes it really chic, especially for a night out because it is a little bit colder, and then you also get more coverage. Me personally, I don't know if I'd be comfortable wearing just this. I am always throwing coats on just because it makes me feel more comfortable. So a leather coat, like a super oversized leather coat is perfect for me on a going out night. Want to add a fun pop of color for the bag. As I was saying, this bag is the perfect going out little bag because it's tiny and it's the perfect size to just keep your phone and your wallet in. Look at that pop, it's so cute, right? Kind of hard to get over the leather because it's bulky, but I'm obsessed. This is totally something that I would wear like going out for dinner or drinks, whatnot. I think it's so cute. And you can also just like hold it like this, you know? For my hair, I just have it in a clip. Love wearing my hair up when going out just because it's already done and out of your face. You don't have to worry about it getting messed up. And I find if I'm drinking, I usually always start to sweat. That's just the way I roll. So I like having my hair up just because it is more cooling. For Sunday, it just made sense to do a cozy outfit. I basically live in little sweat sets, so it was just on brand for me to include one outfit of some sort of sweat set. This is from Garage and it's a sweat skirt. How cute is that? It's just a really fun way to dress up sweatpants and make it a little bit more wearable than just sweatpants, if that makes sense, because it is made into a skirt. It's also just like really cooling because you get the breeze pulling up and everything, so it's really nice. And then I just threw on this white tank top. I actually wore this exact outfit, I think last week, and it was so cute, but I just wanted to make this into a cute little tennis outfit. So I'm just going to throw on this matching cropped hoodie that is also from Garage. Make it even cozier than it already was. I'm gonna roll this too because I'm pretty short. Just to complete this whole tennis outfit, I have to throw on the New Balance 530s to tie in with the gray just really get that tennis vibe how cute guys sundays for me are very productive but also really low-key relaxing so this is the perfect outfit for me when i still want to look cute but be super comfortable i don't really think i would wear a bag with this but if I had to, maybe my beige one? Yeah, I feel like the beige one looks fine because it kind of ties in with the brown tones in the Vela sunglasses and obviously got the hair clipped back. So those are all of the outfits that I will be featuring in today's video because there are only seven days in the week. If you guys like this video, definitely let me know in the comments and I can do more of them. The vibe kind of reminds me of my recreating a Pinterest outfits, except I'm coming up with these outfits myself. So make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below of your favorite outfit or just anything. I love talking to you guys. I answer all my comments. If you want to purchase any of the Vitaly jewelry, they will all be linked down below. And don't forget to go to their website and sign up to get your $25 gift voucher. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.